today. Uh, that's certainly true, Lori. Carmen Best had a lot of fans, not just on the council, but in the audience at the hearing today. Everyone who testified on the hearing itself testified in support of her. In city council chambers. Today, the committee will be discussing the confirmation of interim chief Carmen Best. A Carmen Best love fest. I don't know anyone who has a more stellar record and is more respected in this community. Praise from some of the vocal critics of Seattle police. It's about skill, expertise, and a very unique blend of, um, of assets that Chief Best brings to bear on an extraordinarily difficult job. Today at her first confirmation hearing, Best laid out her vision for the department. Every officer is engaged with the community and people trust us that this uniform, when they see us in it, that it means something to them. It means they have a person here who's here to serve them, who's here to protect them, who's here to work with them. Some of her first priorities are to improve recruitment, negotiate a contract with the officers union, and continue with reform efforts. For the most part, the council asked broad questions and Best gave general answers. And what role you think the police department um, should or should not be playing in the city's overall strategy to address homelessness. We know it's a very complex issue um, and it's going to take an interdisciplinary approach. <laughs> This week, the interim chief fired two officers for shooting at a fleeing vehicle in Seattle's East Lake neighborhood last fall. She insists her decision had nothing to do with wanting to prove an insider could be tough on discipline. I would not make a decision like that on politics or any other reason. I only make decisions based on what is right. And as for any critics of the department's lip sync challenge video released today. Best points out the officers volunteer their time to engage with the community. It was a fun event. I'm not going to let a naysayer drag us down. This is really positive. The 26-year department veteran deftly demonstrated she knows firsthand how important community support can be. I've been in a patrol car. It feels a lot better to drive down the street and have people wave at you and, and with all five fingers and smile than it does to have <laughs> something else happen. Council members said their questions would get more detailed in the next confirmation hearing scheduled a week from today. Full council vote expected for August 13th. In the newsroom, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.